So about five years ago, I attended the, my first Ken Ken Challenge in Chappaqua, New York. And as soon as I started doing these puzzles, I was completely hooked. I learned about this great resource called Ken Ken in the Classroom. And it was uh, every week I received puzzles uh, that I could give out to the students. So being the math specialist at my school, I decided to put these in a central location on a bulletin board. And then students would come by and take them, solve them, and then put them back in an envelope, and then I would check them. And I noticed that the school started to become very, very hooked on these puzzles. I like that you can, they can challenge you, and that um, once you pick one up and you start doing it, you're like, you get addicted to it. You can start with the easier ones, and then once you, um, once you like um, get used to the easier ones, you get you can like get harder and harder and harder until you're doing like the nine by nine. And eventually, at the end of this, the first year, um, we had a, our first Ken Ken challenge, which was a school-wide competition, and um, the students became really interested in solving them and getting better at them. And uh, this challenge was a great school-wide event. The students who do Ken Ken a lot their thinking is improving, their deductive reasoning is improving through solving these puzzles. And not only that, I think it's developed a, an enjoyment of mathematics um, in a different way than a traditional curriculum may provide. And also I noticed that some students who don't see themselves as traditional great mathematicians are noticing through this puzzle, um, they're beginning, beginning to gain more confidence in their own math abilities through, in this different way. It's also exciting to see students demonstrating perseverance through solving these puzzles. So a student that just sits down and, and wants their first, their first try to be correct, and they might give up after that first try. But the students I've noticed who got really, really good at these puzzles are the ones who, who are able to persevere and to push through. So in addition to the Ken Kens that are posted uh, outside on the, the bulletin board, um, we started to use this great app called NCTM Ken Ken. And um, the, we've been using it with some of the third grade classes already. And uh, we've noticed that the students really like it. One of the neat things about this new app is that there are different options where the students can just play different size puzzles, or they can play in progression mode, where they can uh, get puzzles gradually released to them as they solve them, and they get more and more challenging as they continue. If I had a choice, I would probably do it on the app. It's more fun. And when you're erasing something, it doesn't take you that much time because you can just push, push a button. Um, one of the nice things about using an app is that students can quickly correct mistakes and they just with a tap and they can correct the mistakes that they've made and continue on with the puzzle. It's really fun. I just like how like there's um, they have the plus and the minus, but then they also put in the multiplication and the division. And I like it on the app because um, since like there's a lot of like levels on the app, and they can like challenge you on the app. And